if you want free BTEC level 3 IT resources, this is how you would get them. You don't need to be logged in. You just need to have an active internet connection. So you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in BTEC level 3. So BTEC level 3 IT. And you're going to go to the first website that comes up. Let me zoom in. This is going to be the 2016 and 2017 start. So you're going to click on that. And from here, you need to go to where it says external assessments. You're going to click on external assessments. So this is just going to be for the exam stuff. So unit 1, unit 2, unit 11 and unit 14. And we have all all the past papers here back to 2017. So let's just say for argument's sake, I want to go to the 2020 past paper and I want to look for the unit one. You can look through the entire list here, but what I normally do, I do control and F on my keyboard. It's going to come up with a search bar at the very top. And here I'm going to type unit one. Everything that's highlighted on the page is going to be unit one stuff. So for example, this is the unit one examiner's report, examiner report, examiner report again, mark scheme, uh, unit 11 here, and this is unit 14. And here we go. Question paper for unit one so you can download the question paper answer it yourself then go back through and look for the unit one mark scheme now let's stick to 2020 and let's look for unit 11 stuff so i already searched for unit one so let's search for unit 11 stuff and again it's going to be exactly the same thing so this is the examiner's report here this is the mark scheme and if i keep scrolling down i can find unit 11 part a which is going to be a zipped folder unit 11 part b also a zipped folder when i click on this so let me go ahead and click on that now it's going to start downloading straight away when i go to my downloads folder i'm going to have a zipped folder here if you're using windows 10 or windows 11 this is very easy to access you right click on it and choose extract all this window here is going to come up you just click extract and you're going to have a second folder there the first folder is going to have a zip icon the second folder won't click on the second folder and you should inside that folder find a pdf and the documents that you get with the exam so if i open part a this is exactly what the exam is going to look like obviously yours is going to be a printed version but it's the same content that's on there so this is how you get free unit 11 resources just to show you guys that this worked very well let me go to june 2022 and for june 2022 let's look for unit 2 stuff so Control f again on my keyboard this search bar is going to pop up at the very top and then simply type unit 2 everything that's highlighted again is going to be unit 2 stuff so if i scroll down this is the unit 2 task of part a and part b then i have the mark scheme here then at the top i have the examiner's report all of this is free for you to download now i'm on the january 2023 and as you can see some of the stuff here is locked it has a padlock next to it what this means is that you have to ask your teachers or somebody in your school who has a login to download this stuff and give it to you so if you need to get this stuff simply ask your teacher ask your head of department they'll be able to get this stuff for you so if i go back to let's say january 2021 let's look for unit 14 it's probably the only one i haven't checked yet so unit 14 so again control f brings up the search bar and in the search bar i'm going to type unit 14 and again everything that's highlighted is going to be unit 14 stuff so if i scroll down again this is part a for unit 14 this is part b for unit 14 this is the mark scheme for unit 14 and this is the examiner's report for unit 14. So what I would recommend everyone do is go ahead and download the free resources. Do it yourself. Don't look on any mark scheme or any examiner's report. Do it yourself first. Do as much of it as you can. And then you look at the mark scheme and see where you went wrong. And also look at the examiner's report to see what they are looking at exactly. Because that will tell you the examiner is looking for this thing and that thing. And this person got a really high grade. This person didn't get a really high grade because and he would always give an explanation. Additionally, if you want some extra free stuff, what you should do is go to Runs Tech Hub on Google. So just simply Google the word runs tech hub all a single word go to the website and when you're on the website go to where it says free it resources here so that's the third option free it resources and on the free it resources you should see at the very top unit one under unit one you're going to have the spec the youtube playlist they're going to have revision cards so i'm going to open revisions cards quickly and this is what revisions cards has it has roughly uh 62 pages of different questions and answers of things that you should know for unit one but i think the best part about this is the unit one chat gpt help bot so i created this help bot when i've paid for chat gpt for a month so if you click on this blue thing here it's going to come up with this thing and you can ask it any unit one questions you want to ask it and it should be able to answer it because i've put in every single piece of information i could find on unit one please feel free to use it it's completely free for everyone you might have to log into your chat gpt account to use it but it's free to use there is extra stuff on here so for unit two there is some stuff for unit uh, 11 and unit 14 but i think unit one is the most flushed out thing i haven't finished making stuff for unit 11 and 14 yet <laughs>